What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Yesterday, GameStop took an absolute dump, negative 33% in a single day. But right now, GameStop is up 26%. It's about to recover all of its losses from yesterday. Now, GameStop really does go all the way up to $160. I'm gonna be super surprised. It's something pretty amazing. If you guys bought the dip on GameStop yesterday when the prices hit below $120, I mean, you're making a bunch of money right now. And if you guys wanna play GameStop, I highly recommend buying the shares instead of buying the options. And the reason why is the options and their applied volatility is way too high. You need massive stock movements just to make a little bit of money. For example, yesterday when the markets were super red, the people who bought puts, most of them didn't make any money even though the market was at negative 33%. The people who shorted the stock yesterday made more money than people who bought the put options. Same thing with today, it's kind of similar. You kind of got to buy the shares, it's a lot safer, it's also a lot better, and so far you don't really get that implied volatility. And GameStop right now is at $154. Super proud of the stock. The volume in the next few hours will most likely plateau a little bit before searching back up at the end of the day. See, right now it's already plus 31%, meaning that GameStop has already recovered all of its losses yesterday during earnings. This is looking really good for the company. And a few reasons why that's attributing to this massive rise is Wall Street bets, but also, their board is stepping down, or more specifically, several members. The reason why is GameStop is trying to transition themselves from more of a retail store to more of an online store. And the only way to do this is not only try to raise more capital for this digital transformation, but also pretty much fire a bunch of individuals who are mostly in the retail sector, kind of. Like, there's a lot of executives out there who are not really interested and transitioning heavily to digital. They still like the retail stores. I feel like the retail stores could definitely keep making money. So we kind of need new management for GameStop. And this is exactly what's happening. In fact, there's a ton of changes. I mean, GameStop is naming like a brand new COO. They just laid off several executives. It's pretty wild. And Ryan Cohen is another individual that bought into GameStop and is a massive influence. Here's the reason why Ryan Cohen Anytime he does anything on Twitter that relates to GameStop, share prices surge up. Ryan Cohen actually led Chewy, which is an online digital pet food company. And now Chewy stock is an all-time high. It's one of the most sought-after shares in all of Wall Street. And it's thanks to Ryan Cohen's leadership. And now GameStop is like, you know what? We're thinking about probably transitioning to a more digital aspect. Ryan Cohen automatically gets super excited and buys 12.9% of GameStop because he feels like GameStop, because they're transitioning to this brand new sector, a digital sector, it's gonna make a ton of revenue, a ton of money, and therefore he's going in pretty hard. So right now, obviously GameStop is solely thinking about all this stuff. I think if GameStop really does hit all the way up to $170, $165 a day, it will essentially hit the floor value. Let me do some very simple technical analysis. If GameStop does recover above $167 a day or just around that region and stabilize without going down, that means the floor value for GameStop is very, very good. It's staying at this department, it's staying at this price range, and it's not really moving at all. Now, what's really scary is if GameStop dropped a ton yesterday, negative 33%, but it only went up about three or 5% today. That's very scary. But since GameStop has virtually recovered all of its losses yesterday during earnings in just a few hours, it's looking pretty nice. Did it when the markets were extremely red. The VIX is at a plus 4.5%. NASDAQ is down one whole percentage, and the other indexes look at Dow. S&P 500 small cap down 0.6%. It's because of this, it makes GameStop's massive rise very interesting. Pretty wild is, who knows, maybe some people are transitioning from other companies, other shares and buying GameStop because it's kind of cheap and everyone's kind of betting on a short squeeze. And keep in mind that $160, yes, it's way down compared to $300 several weeks ago. $300, that's a lot of money, but $160, that's still a very high price. And the shorts feel uncomfortable like this. And on top of that, we do have a lot more things going on with Ryan Cohen, essentially joining the board and a lot of other associates are coming in and people feel like Ryan Cohen's influence and experience 
and digital transformation in digital websites and also e-commerce should help GameStop have a massive rise up. If you check out the 10K filings for GameStop in the last few hours, you could probably notice that they do talk about earnings, they do talk about the future of the company, executives, etc. But the most important thing is the mention of a short squeeze. Essentially, in the 10K filings for GameStop, they mentioned that a short squeeze is due to a sudden increase in demand for shares of our Class A common stock that largely exceeds supplies had led to and may continue to lead to extreme price volatility of their shares. What GameStop is saying here is if so many people short the stock, eventually they have to close and buy back the shares. That's the only way to close a short position is to buy back the stock. And they're saying that there's too many people shorting the stock. They eventually have to buy back. And this message is very similar to the message that Porsche and Volkswagen gave when their short squeeze happened. In fact, Volkswagen back in 2008 experienced this massive short squeeze where hedge funds lost $30 billion. Same thing right here. You do have GameStop saying the same exact thing, warning investors that, hey, so many of you guys are shorting the stock. Just keep in mind that eventually you have to cover. And any sort of a small amount of catalyst, just Ryan Cohen coming out and talk about Twitter, or if GameStop is actually successful in this digital transformation, all the shorts will be freaked out and they will start buying up more and more shares. That's what's gonna happen. But right now, GameStop has been punished for the past several days by the shorts. In fact, if you guys think companies have stopped shorting GameStop, they have not. They are still shorting GameStop, which is leading to this massive decrease in price. But today, plus 38%, even after slight misses in earnings yesterday, and I know yesterday looked very dire and very scary, right now, the investors and retail traders are fighting back. GameStop right now is plus 41%. It's looking really hot. It's almost $170. It actually surpassed the red line that it made. So GameStop, if it could actually go up to $180 today, that will be pretty amazing. And the share prices are finally stabilizing around this corner of the market. And this is pretty incredible. Going up this much, I mean, 43%, this virtually made up all the losses in the past several days. And with the markets being this red, I'm very impressed by GameStop's massive and amazing performance. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Definitely check out Coinbase. Link in the description below. Click on it. Make a Coinbase account. Deposit some money and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. I mean, it's completely free cash. Definitely check it out. And also, by the way, check out the Patreon link below for an exclusive private Discord server. I mean, we talk about different things, trades, also upcoming videos, etc. So definitely check that out as well cool stuff and coinbase is also something that you should definitely keep in mind because it's free money i mean if someone's giving me free money i'll definitely get it and plus crypto recently has been pretty hot so that could be a pretty cool investment for you guys subscribe and thanks for watching